All right, hello all you parents, teachers, and students learning at home. Um, I've come across a tool that I think would be very helpful for all of you that are working and learning at home, which is how to scan a PDF using your iPad's camera on either a form that you need to fill out or if you've done some awesome writing or something that you need to send to your teacher and you don't want it to be a photo, you'd actually like it to be a PDF. And also what's really great is if you scan a form, you can actually mark it up and send it as a completed PDF. So if there's any paperwork you need to re do remotely, if there's anything you need to send to teachers or outside of the district, if you need to work from home, this is gonna be a great way to fill out that form and email it instead of trying to scramble to find a scanner. So two ways to do this, we're either gonna use the Notes app or we're gonna use the Apple Files app. So first thing, here I am in my notes app and I just have a brand new note open. You're gonna notice down here at the bottom right hand corner is a camera. If I press this camera button, you're gonna see three options. Scan documents, take a photo, or bring something from my photo library. So I'm gonna scan a document. Is it's gonna bring up my camera. So what I need to do, for example, if I need to scan this document right here, set it on the table, hover over that, it's going to see that it's a document and it's gonna take that picture for me. So now it has that page. I'm going to save this. And now I have this document. Now, you can see that it's sideways, no big deal. Top right corner, I have some options for changing the color. So I could actually just do this as a grayscale. I can crop this or I can go ahead and flip it a couple times. So now, if you have an Apple Pencil or using your finger, using markup, you can actually come into this document, start filling this out, so I'll give a name, that's Aaron Rogers. So I can actually fill this form out, and when I'm done, that writing is gonna stay there. Which is nice about this is top right corner, I have the share -o. I can actually now email this document to whoever needs that, okay? Another way to do this would be using our Files app. So let's jump into Files. Okay, so here I am in the Files app. What's nice about this is I've just created this folder called Training. Up here in the top left corner, you're gonna see a circle with three dots. This is gonna give me the option to scan documents. So I'm gonna scan a document, and again, it's gonna bring up my camera. So now if maybe for example, I've got this awesome writing I've done at home. It's going to see the page, and then I just hover over this, and it's going to, boop, take that picture for me. So now I'm gonna press Save. And now I have that document. What's also nice is if I had three or four pages, I can actually scan a page, move it, scan the second page, move it. I can scan as many pages as I need to and then press save. Now when I go into the saved document, you can see that it's now a PDF. So if I needed to, I could also mark this up and edit this. And from right here, again, these three dots, and now I can press share and go ahead and email this, send it into Google Classroom, whatever you need to do. So this is a super way either using the Notes app or the Files app to scan some documents that you have, save them as a PDF, mark them up if you need to, and then email them, Google Classroom, however you need to get those off the iPad to the teacher, to the parent, whoever you need to get those to. All right, I hope this quick tip was helpful while we're learning at home.